Good morning, everyone. It's James Braithwaite at Braithwaite Physiotherapy, helping you to move beautifully. And today, we are going to talk about hamstring strain injuries. And this is a super common injury. It's the summertime right now, and people are playing summertime sports, field sports, sports that, re that require a lot of sprinting and cutting from side to side. And those types of movements, especially that sprinting action, are make an athlete predisposed to hamstring injuries. And the reason for that is that when we're in the full stride portion of our run, where our leg is extended way out in front of us, and it's contracting hard to slow down and draw the leg back as it comes through the gait cycle, that heavy contraction, also known as an eccentric or lengthening contraction, is about as much load as you can put into a muscle and that particular type of action predisposes it to straining, which is why in the summertime when people are doing a lot of sprinting, field type sports, I see a lot of hamstring strains coming into the clinic. So let's talk about what you can do to help manage that. Um, one of the things that you can do, and this, it seems to be the universal truth of injury prevention is just get stronger, right? So good strength training that targets your posterior chain, in particular the hamstrings obviously, is a, is a good practice, and for that I recommend deadlifting exercises. Deadlifting specifically because not only does it help to strengthen those hamstring muscles, but it also helps to lengthen the hamstring muscles. And if you saw my previous blog where I talked about using strength training as a viable alternative to stretching for lengthening a muscle, it'll help to explain exactly why that is. I'll put a link to that video in the, in the description below uh, this video. Uh, in addition to your uh, deadlifting exercises, though, there's another wonderful exercise uh, which has been shown to really help prevent hamstring strain injuries if you do it in your preseason, your run up to your activity season. So, giving yourself two, three months, really, three months is a better period of time for pre training, pre having to help to protect against a hamstring strain injury using this exercise. And it's called the Nordic. Uh, the Nordic drop exercise, is that what it is? Let's, we'll edit that part out. <laughs> it's called the Nordic drop exercise, and I'm going to show it to you right now. So let's go into the other room where I've got a setup ready for us to demonstrate this exercise. Come on through, right this way. Come on in. So you can see I've got this strategic setup. Now, on your Nordic hamstring uh, drop exercise, it really does help to have another person to hold your legs, and you'll see why in just a moment. But in the absence of having a partner to help you with your exercise, you can jam your legs under a heavy piece of furniture, and I'm gonna use my treatment table here to help support me as I go through the exercise. So, I'm gonna get myself positioned and with my legs supported underneath this heavy piece of furniture. You could have your friend come up to your legs and hold your legs so they're nice and supported as well. But I'm gonna use this piece of furniture right here. There they are, nice and, and jammed in underneath. I'm gonna assume what's called a high kneeling position. This is a high kneeling position. And I'm going to drop forward, uh, extending at my knees only, as far as I can, and eventually my hamstrings, which are controlling the descent of the movement, are going to let go, and I'll drop and have to catch myself. Watch, it looks like this. I let myself move forward, extending at the knees, hard, hard, Ugh, that's as far as I can go. And then I push myself up. So obviously, please, for safety's sake, have your hands ready to catch yourself, lest there be a trip to the emergency room with some kind of broken nose issue. Hands up, okay? So here I go again. Ugh, hard work. It's extremely hard work, and you will feel your hamstrings working hard to control your descent. If you have a friend holding your feet, they're going to have to hold hard too. Just like so. And you're going to do three sets of seven repetitions of that exercise. And you're going to do that four times a week over a period ideally of about 12 weeks. And that really does help to toughen up your hamstrings, muscles, and tendons, which are the structures likely to be involved in those strains that we've been talking about, those strains commonly associated with sprinting. I like deadlifting, as I mentioned, as a complement to this exercise, but there's tons of research around this exercise that shows, yeah, it is super helpful for helping to prevent hamstring injuries. 
if you're doing a lot of sprinting or if you're a track and field athlete, if you're a track and field athlete, you probably do have a, uh, a coach to help you with this. But if you're casual and you're doing a lot of sprinting in your sport, it's a good idea too to consider having your sprint assessed for technique. Technique can also make a big difference. Make sure that you're doing a, a good form as you uh, do your sprints and that can also help to prevent uh, 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 hamstrings injuries in your sport. But do try this hamstring, um, the Nordic drop exercise. If you have any questions about that, obviously reach out or talk to a physiotherapist near you. Give it a shot, have fun with it. It's a great strength training exercise anyway. It fits nicely into anyone's strength training program at the gym. Uh, have fun with it. Let me know how it goes. I'm James Braithwaite of Braithwaite Physiotherapy, helping you to move beautifully.